Hi friends, welcome back. Are you ready for another fun activity? Excuse you, Tummy. Sorry, Avery. I guess I'm kind of hungry. Is it snack time yet? Perfect timing, Elvis. Don't worry. Today, we are going to do an activity that is a craft and a snack at the same time. Oh boy, a craft and a snack. What is it? Well, friends, today we are learning about how Jesus ate breakfast with his friends after he rose from the dead. Guess what Jesus cooked his friends for breakfast? Ooh, eggs and bacon? Nope. Pancakes and waffles? Nope. Um, frosted flakes and fruit loops? Uh-uh. Then what? The Bible tells us in John chapter 21 that Jesus cooked bread and fish for his disciples. Fish for breakfast? No thank you. Well, that was common for people to eat fish for breakfast back in the Bible. But don't worry friends, we're not going to eat fish for our snack today. At least not real ones. We're going to make a fun snack with goldfish crackers. I like goldfish crackers. Let's get started. Great. Friends, you can make this snack at home too. All you will need is some goldfish crackers, some graham crackers, some frosting, and if you want, you can use sprinkles. And most importantly, make sure that you ask an adult for permission before you do this activity. We're going to make a snack that looks like fish swimming in the sea. First step, spread the frosting on the graham cracker to make it look like the sea. Make sure to leave a little room at the top for the sky. Nice work. Now it's time for the sand. Blech. We're going to eat sand? No, no. We're going to crush up graham crackers to make it look like the sand. Oh, can I crush up the graham cracker, Avery? Sure, Elle. The best way to do it is to put it in a plastic baggie and then to crush it up. Good job. Okay, now we have the sand. Let's dip the bottom of our graham cracker in it to make it look like the sandy bottom of the seafloor. Very nice. Now friends, add your goldfish to the sea and feel free to decorate with sprinkles, to add seaweed, bubbles, and anything else you would like. Here we have it. Yummy. It really does look like fish swimming in the sea. Friends, just like Jesus made breakfast for his friends, you can make this snack for your friends and family. And while you eat it together, you can talk about the story of Jesus spending time with his disciples after he rose from the dead. This account is found in John chapter 21. Um, Avery? Can I eat that snack now? Of course, Elvis. Thanks for joining us, friends. See you soon.